In the spotlight today, oh, it is so cool. It's the brand new Sane Smart Magnetic Fume Extractor. Here we go. Sane Smart Magnetic Fume Extractor. Smart, the magnetic fume extractor. Magnetic. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Top notch packaging. Uh, I'm telling you, they have the styrofoam inserts, they have plastic on plastic, and uh, you, just generally speaking, you don't have to worry about this being damaged via transit. Magnetic fume extractor, something really cool because, you know, not always do you have that great soldering area that you can just go ahead and solder. Hey, sometimes you're on the road, you need to do something, and you want to play it safe. What a great idea. And you know what? Even for your bench, heck, I know where I'm going to put this, and it'll probably be on my soldering bench as well because it's just so darn handy. And right off the get-go, look at that. We're getting not one but two extra filters, carbon filters, from Sane Smart. And look at the unit itself. That's what I'm talking about packaging. Man, they do not mess around. Now the cool thing with this as well is the fact that they're getting an LED and this has three different illumination modes. So you're getting that safety from extracting those fumes as well as extra light on your soldering subject. Also get our nifty little power adapter here, 100 volts to 240 volts, 12 volt DC power adapter. And this must be the magnet because it's really in there. Oh yeah, that is definitely a magnet. That's the magnetic base just attaches like so, screwed on there. And there you go. I'm telling you, this thing is really heavy for such a small looking base. And uh, we're gonna stick it Shortly, just to give you a sense of how powerfully it does stick to whatever it is being uh, magnetized to. Oh my God, that's what I'm talking about. And brings us to the next point, you get a C-clamp as well. So if you don't wanna use a magnet or you can't, whatever, you can simply attach the C-clamp to your desk and you screw in the top of the base unit like so, with the magnetic base, of course, and there you go. Magnetic or C-clamp? Choice is up to you. Picture's worth a thousand words. Look at the strength of this magnet. Oh man, that is one tough cookie. Ugh. Yeah, so fear not, your fume extractor is not going anywhere when it's stuck like that. With 3,700 RPM of pure high suction, soldering fan power that's a lot 3700 rpm as well they recommend a distance of 10 inches uh, for the fan to the actual item being soldered and interesting enough they're also claiming a 30 percent better uh, solder fume extractor experience uh, than your standard soldering fume extractor one thing i do like is that gooseneck design and look at how solid that magnetic uh, stand is this thing is not going anywhere it's not budging the only thing that's moving is the, the magnetic uh, base i have it on but uh, that gooseneck really offers a lot of versatility with this. All of your adjustment settings are done via this little handheld control that is attached to the power cable itself. Uh, minus and plus for the light intensity, you have your actual illumination light to bring us into the three different illuminating modes. And finally, we have the speed control for the fan. Fortunately, that's only one speed control, turns the fan on and off, that's it. Let's start off with that lighting, shall we? And there you go, nice and bright. And once again, you can adjust the intensity just simply by using the switch. Let's try the next light mode. That's a much more subdued, a little softer. And you know what? I think that mode is really, really easy on the eyes. And once again, you can change it. You can make it brighter all again via that handheld control. Finally, the last illumination. This is probably my favorite, it has a really nice clean cold glow i like this light when i'm soldering myself but hey it's definitely up to you and you can make it as bright and trust me <laughs> that is really bright so all done via this one handheld control 
carbon inserts themselves, you get three of them. There was one hiding, but yeah, three of them you get 0.16th of an inch. And you know what? If you want, you can certainly double up. So if you want to use two for that added extra filter absorbency, you sure can. Hey, why not? I do it all the time. Finally, we're gonna look at that fan. Now remember, we only have one speed on this fan. So on and off basically is what you're getting. I've got a decibel meter here hooked up. So we'll see just how loud it is. So it's fairly quiet as you can see, 56.4 decibels. Uh, not loud at all. It's definitely not gonna make you go stir crazy if you're soldering for a couple of hours. Okay, we're up to attempt with the soldering station. Let's go ahead and turn on our fan. And here we go. So, older multimeter PCB I'm working on. Oh yeah, that smoke is definitely going right up into that fan. I have an air quality meter set up here and we're just gonna see the difference it makes having that uh, smoke extractor going while we're soldering. So here we go. So you can see this makes a pretty big difference in terms of the uh, fumes themselves. And we all know how nasty fumes can be from soldering, especially when you use leaded solder. And that fan really does make a big difference. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn off our fan. Let's just see what happens in terms of that uh, PPM. So you can see it's slowly creeping up. It gets exponentially worse without having that extraction going on. You don't want to be breathing this stuff in, believe me. And hey, if you don't want to use that magnet or you can't or whatever, you can always use that C-type clamp right there. Solid, fits like a glove and definitely expands your opportunities. Replacing those carbon inserts is easy as well. Simply unscrew the top of the housing like so and eventually just pops right off. Bada boom, bada bing, there's your carbon insert. Replace with a new one and you are good to go. Something else I like the fact that we have finger guards on both sides of the assembly. So gonna protect your little fingers just in case, well, in case you know what. We have a lot of illumination options with this device. Here's why, look at all those LEDs. Man, that is a lot of light. And the fan itself seems to be about 80 millimeters. So a standard size computer fan. All right, put it back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts to the same smart magnetic fume extractor. Oh, definitely this one is a keeper. Saint Smart really thought out of the box on this one. Not only did they give you those tri-illuminating lights, but they give you a magnet that is a tour de force of magnets. This thing is so freaking strong, the hardest part is trying to get it off whatever it's sticking to. I really appreciate the fact that they give you extra filters as well because you always gonna need more filters down the road. One thing I'm not so fond of is the fact that we only have one single fan speed. Be really, really nice to have adjustable fan speeds. At least maybe two, three would be ideal. And that included C-clamp 
Great job, Sane Smart. Thanks for giving us a choice. Now, this is one great tool to add to your soldering arena. It just makes a lot of sense. The Sane Smart Magnetic Fume Extractor gets a solid four out of five stars. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.